Dawson Rider Review. Hey YouTube, Dawson Rider here with a review of the Fierce Dragon Battle Staffs from Power Rangers Mystic Force. This is an American exclusive invention, so it was not uh, part of Magi Ranger, so there's no counterpart to talk about. And it is the weapon of choice of the uh, Red Dragon Fire Ranger, the Battleizer of the Year. So let's go ahead and jump in. They're very pretty simplistic. Uh, so you obviously get two staffs, hence staffs plural. Um, this one it has no electronics or anything. It's just like this um, little scepter thing. Um, it's actually pretty cool looking, honestly. Like the plastic is kind of that dull color. So if it had like a, sh a sheen to it or like some sort of actual golden look, it would look cooler. But just on the base design concept, I quite like it. Like the the dragon claw um, gra grasping this orb, and like that here it's small, and then you can't extend it out. Uh, basically, it kind of looks like one of those, you know, lightsabers that are just, you know, you flick them out and they have no electronics, or the ones with electronics, that's what it reminds me of, and it's your pretty typical fare for the size of um, toys, although in the show these are like staffs and so they're not quite the length of like, well they're staffs obviously, but you know what I mean, like they're not quite the length of like the longer sword weapons, so it doesn't feel quite as small uh, compared to some other PR weapons just because they are a bit of a different scale in the show, but that's pretty much all this does. I think that really the only way to improve this would be just having a little bit cooler looking paint, but I still like the design and concept of this, but that is all this one does. This one has the electronics and whatnot, but it's still nothing uh, huge, but I really like the design of this one, and I think the toy is really cool uh, as well in terms of design, especially um, if you can see here, the, the red paint here has a really nice shine to it, which just looks really cool. You do have that unfortunate, like, generic Power Rangers branding they used to do. Uh, this is where the only lights are going to be, and then here, the uh, the pet of it, the dragon head, is based off of Fireheart, and it looks really cool. Like I said, the paint looks really cool here uh, with the the um the symbol for the Red Mystic Ranger, and you have the eye and the teeth, and then like these little frills on the side here also have like a shine to them uh, in the paint. So I think it looks really cool. Uh, this is its sort of blaster mode when it has this attachment here. Um, and you can take it off, which I'll show in a minute, to be a staff mode. But regardless of whether you're in staff mode or blaster mode, kind of similar to the other one I was just talking about, is it still has that sort of smaller PR weapon feel compared to what it's like in the show. But it's not quite as bad given how these aren't that much longer in the show, like a sword or anything. But yeah, so um, there is an on-off switch here. So let's turn it on. And no activation noises, but you press this button here. See the lights there? That's the noises you get in this mode. And like I said, you can pull this off to do staff mode and it will make those sort of uh, me mechanically noises. And then when you press this now, you get sort of baton-like noises. And you can do it in succession. Nothing happens if you hold it down. And that's basically it. Um, so, like, the sounds on this are nothing to write home about, but see the feel of it, um, like, it's hard to, to show you the feel just by me holding it, but because they are more batons in the show, it's not quite as bad, uh, which is just kind of nice, but it's, it's got a nice feel to it. That's the sounds, and you can snap this back on rather easily. And I do like when it makes that, um, that mechanical sounding noise. That sounds really funny the way I said that, but when you, you know, take it off or put it back on, it just makes it feel like you're really working with gear when it gives you that feedback. I just really like that. Um, but yeah, overall, these are, are nothing amazing for sure. I mean, especially sound-wise, there's nothing really unique or surprising about them, but I do quite like the design of them. So, um, if you can find one cheap and you like Mystic Force and you want something that was unique to Mystic Force that looks kind of cool, I can recommend them, because uh, I, I think they are neat in many respects. They're just not an absolute must-have in terms of like features or quality, but still I think um, a, a solid toy, just mainly because I think it was a uniquely cool design we did. But anyway, until next time, make sure you check out the crazy podcast at writersrangersrambles.com, and of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Till next time, Dawson Writer, signing out.